Greetings all, I am Barbara coming to you from the bunker. Hey, today I want to show you this product uh, before I tell you what we're doing here. It's a I am Barbara experiment, uh, but this is actually microwavable uh, macaroni and cheese. So I wanted to do an experiment today uh, and uh, try to prove out several of I am Rugger's um, philosophies on prepping. So what we're going to do here, as you can see, I'm using my uh, solid fuel camp stove. I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, the hot water to our macaroni and cheese and, and let that sit while we're uh, discussing things. So uh, basically what I was looking at doing uh, is essentially looking for a product that has uh, is fairly inexpensive, additionally has a, a good shelf life, and uh, secondly, is self-contained and easy to prepare. Uh, so this macaroni and cheese obviously has very good shelf life, very inexpensive. Uh, but the thing about it is it's micro it's uh, intended to be um, prepared with a microwave. Now, obviously with the grid down situation, uh, I would suspect that in many cases, your microwave is not going to be working. So what we're going to do here is I wanted to see if in fact, um, we use boiling water and uh, let that sit for its recommended four minutes. Uh, whether the uh, the noodles would be uh, essentially cooked if there was enough energy in the water uh, to actually cook the noodles and actually uh, prepare the macaroni and cheese as it is intended. So what we have here, again, uh, cost is good, shelf life is good. And what I really love about this concept is uh, absolutely zero cleanup because uh, this is self-contained, can be prepared, uh, eaten, and uh, disposed of in the same container. So essentially, if uh, water is at a premium, uh, the only water that you need to, to, uh, to have this meal actually is uh, the water to cook with. You won't have a mess that you have to clean up afterwards. Now, uh, everyone who's watched my videos knows uh, that safety is extremely important to me. So I would uh, say that this is a well-ventilated area. We've got our fire extinguisher ready to go. And additionally, all preppers need to have a carbon monoxide detector or several carbon monoxide uh, detectors in their home. So, hey, I think I did pretty good here. We brought that water uh, to a rapid boil. Uh, and for my theory, um, like I said, there would actually be no cleanup, but because we have some extra hot water, I think we're gonna go ahead and and uh, just round this out um, with some coffee. So I can have some coffee with my macaroni and cheese. And as you guys know, when the zombies come over the wall, uh, if I'm not able to have my coffee, I'm gonna have pretty low morale. So again, this is my uh, portable camp stove, one of them that I have, uh, solid fuel. I really like these hexamine tabs. Uh, they burn very, uh, they're very hot when they burn. Uh, these kits are very efficient, transfer the heat. And uh, you can see obviously the uh, the camp stove uh, is efficient in how it's designed uh, in order to make uh, the maximum amount of heat go into our water. So we have been going at this just over a little bit over two minutes. I'm gonna give it another minute and a half and then we're gonna see um, see exactly what uh, what we got going on here. Hey, here's an interesting thing. Uh, one thing to be aware of is these hex mine tabs do have a little bit of residue. And as I set uh, my my uh, camp pot down on the cutting board here, uh, some of that residue was still wet. And uh, that is one thing to be aware of uh, with the solid fuel tabs is they, they do produce a little bit of residue. So you'll have to keep your equipment clean as things go forward. So. Uh, we are just a little bit over the three minute mark. We're gonna prepare to, to see how we're doing here with our macaroni and cheese. So this uh, this particular brand does have the powdered uh, cheese as opposed to the, the already uh, constituted cheese. And I think uh, I've been told that this stuff stores uh, a little bit better uh, than the, the regular constituted cheese. So. Uh, probably has a better shelf life. We're gonna call that pretty darn close. We're gonna see how our noodles are doing here. And uh, give this a good stir. Oh, I can already tell the noodles are um, 
they are tender. I'm going to give them a few more minutes here just to soften up a little bit. They did, they are a little sticky. I was supposed to stir that actually when I added the water. Uh, so that is my fault. But we're going to give them just another minute. Get our cheese ready to roll. And if this is successful, I'm going to be pretty excited uh, that this is a low maintenance, easy to store, uh, pretty practical solution for intermediate term storage and uh, something that we can use when uh, like I said if um, if the water source is, has uh, been disrupted and uh, water is at a premium this uh, this appears to me to be something that could be quite useful so we are very close to our four minute mark here I'm just going to give it one more second let's go ahead and do this let's add our cheese see where we're at and um, hopefully this is successful so i know uh, mrs rugger loves her macaroni and cheese this is going to be a comfort food uh, if in fact we have a disruption in services it's a comfort food uh, for both of us actually today we we do eat macaroni and cheese and uh, the directions do say to let that sit for a few minutes uh, here in just a second, we'll, we'll try out. I think the, uh, the key point here is, in fact, uh, how the noodles, the, um, the consistency of the noodles. So let's go ahead and give this a shot and just see where we're at with this deal. So. Oh, yeah. That is some mighty fine H2O. Noodles are very tender. I'm going to call that a success. Um, I am going to let that sit uh, just for a minute and uh, let some of the water, they, they say the cheese, uh, if you let it sit for just a minute, the, the cheese uh, actually gets a little thicker. So that's what we're going to shoot for. That very much was a success in my mind. And perhaps a bigger success is the fact that I had enough water left over uh, to make some instant coffee. So viewers, subscribers, what have we done well here? What can we do better? This is Iron Burger coming to you from the bunker. Let's be careful out there.